Republican voters in Iowa are the first to pick their party's nominee for November's US presidential election at today's Iowa caucuses. Bitterly cold weather conditions have set in across the Midwest and that could keep voters away, but it hasn't stopped the candidates from making their final pitches. It's a field led by the former President Donald Trump and he's the front runner by a big margin. Despite a long list of court cases in front of him, the 77-year-old has used his legal challenges to rally support. He's constantly attacked his rivals and urged Republicans to get out and vote whatever the cost. We got to do it. We got to do it big. You got to get out. You can't sit home. If you're sick as a dog, you say, darling, I got to back it. Even if you vote and then pass away, it's worth it, remember? <laughs> Trailing Donald Trump in national opinion polls is the former South Carolina governor, Nikki Haley. The 51-year-old is seen as a solid conservative and a stalwart defender of American interests abroad. She's hoping to perform well in Iowa and advance further in the race. We have spent 11 months waiting on this moment. 11 months of fighting to make sure that we got our voices heard. 11 months of touching every hand and answering every question and making sure that we got our message out to voters. Nikki Haley is jostling for a distant second place with the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis. The 45-year-old has focused on key social issues such as abortion, but his campaign has struggled to gain traction. He considers himself the underdog. Now's our time uh, to, to seize the moment. Uh, you know, we can sit there and complain about all this stuff going on with the country. When you have an opportunity to do something about it, uh, you got to take the opportunity and you got to stand up and you got to fight. From Ron DeSantis to the former biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, who is a political outsider. A defender of Donald Trump, the 38-year-old has mounted his campaign as an anti-woke crusader. It's a strategy that's also failed to gain widespread Republican support. He's hoping to beat expectations in Iowa. If we can revive that dream over group identity and victimhood and grievance, then nobody in the world, not a nation, not a corporation, not a virus, not China is going to defeat us. That is what American exceptionalism is all about. And that is what we will revive to save this great country. Another long shot is the former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson. He launched his White House bid in April and the 73-year-old believes his experience leading his conservative state is proof he can deliver for the Republicans. But he too has failed to make inroads in opinion polls. Republicans in Iowa will be turning out in person to churches, schools and town halls to make their decision at caucus events. Given it's the first nominating contest in the election cycle, Iowa is attracting plenty of media attention and many voters say they're still undecided. For myself, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide which candidate I like the best out of the ones that we have. I'm, I'm struggling with that a little bit. I don't think Trump has nearly the following people think he does, or maybe I'm just hopeful. I'm going to caucus for Nikki Haley. I would love to see Trump as president again, and I would love to see uh, Vivek as vice president. Ron DeSantis is someone who I believe has really followed through with a lot of his conservative policies. We also feel like he's someone that can help unite the party instead of tearing it down.